Because these are the heroes of society. These people have done the best possible thing that they can do for the environment. Nothing could be better, sir, for the environment than you having a vasectomy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to finally speak about a taboo subject, which is that reproduction is the cause of all your problems. Parents have been lying to their children since time immemorial because they've never wanted them to figure out that actually they're responsible for all their problems because otherwise they might try to leech off them, claim compensation from them and not look after them in their old age. But this guy here, for example, a classic example, your problems are all because of your parents' decision to have you. Why did they have you? Why did your parents have you? They wanted you, well they didn't know what you were going to turn out like. I mean, I'm not sure if they, do they actually, do they know that you're doing this? Your father does, what does he think about it? He must be very traumatised. I mean, you've been doing this for a long time, and he admits that he hasn't converted anyone at all. Have you? Have I? To what? I'm not trying to convert anybody. Don't make that mistake. I don't care what you really do, you want to have children, have children. Your problem, don't come complaining to me when they've ruined your life, they've ruined your finances. But ladies and gentlemen, we are the only political party that are talking about the real things that matter and the real solutions. Brexit is irrelevant. All these things are just distractions. The, re the, pe the people responsible for your problem with Brexit, whether you're against it or for it, is your parents. Because without their decision not to take precautions all those years ago, you wouldn't have any problem with Brexit. It would make a blind bit of difference to you whether you have Brexit or not. Now, ladies and gentlemen, at the moment, the treacherous, toothless cowards in government are allowing every Tom, Dick and Harry to reproduce. And this is the result, ladies and gentlemen, that you see before us of this terrible, irresponsible policy. Do I have kids? I was hoping you wouldn't ask that. <laughs> Mike, do? None of your business. Well done. I have three, yes. That, well, that's my dad. He's my dad. He's the, he's the reason why I've got ended up like this. Anyway, uh, anyway, yes, you don't have any children, do you? Thank God for that. Anyway, can you imagine? Had you wake up one day? find out that this is your dad, although it might be marginally worse than finding out that I'm your dad. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I gather here today to spread a very important political message. There is a solution to our problems, a solution that nobody is talking about. One simple change in the law to make reproduction illegal will sort out every single problem known to mankind. It will reduce childhood cancer. It will reduce child abuse. It will reduce the number of people working in public relations. It will reduce the number of lawyers. It will reduce the number of ugly people. It will reduce the number of people like this guy here, not that there's that many. It will reduce Bible bashers. It will reduce fundamentalists. It will reduce poverty. It will even reduce the number of security people who have to walk up and down Oxford Street, making sure that you keep shopping without nicking anything. Nobody is talking about the real source of problems. Nobody is talking about where the real weapons of mass destruction lie. Not in Iraq, not in Iran, not in Pakistan, but between the legs of every man. Between the legs of every man, a concealed weapon of mass destruction, concealed in a very unsafe 
sheath of their underpants is a weapon that men are using shooting up women, 350,000 of them being impregnated every day. For what reason? To have more mindless shoppers in Oxford Street buying the crap they don't need? Which is why we urge you, especially if you are a shopping addict, for your own good so that you can continue with your shopping addiction, go to Boots, spend 10 quid on some contraception. It will be much better in the long run because if you get pregnant, or you make someone pregnant, you won't have much money left to buy more shoes. You'll be in real trouble. Boots have several shops in Oxford Street. Don't make the same mistake your parents made and find yourself short tonight if there's any chance of any action. Please, go to Boots and make sure you're supplied and behave like a responsible adult. Better still, gentlemen, please consider having a vasectomy. Many of the men around here have never even thought about it like these two here, for example. Have you ever thought about having a vasectomy? Why not? Why have you not had a vasectomy, sir? Sex is great. You definitely need a vasectomy. Do you not know that you can still have sex if you have a vasectomy, young man? Did you not know that? It's going to feel just as good. It'll feel a lot better afterwards if you've had a vasectomy than if you haven't. When you get that shock feeling, horrible feeling, oh, what have I done now? The sort of feeling that your, that your parents probably felt at the time when they had drunk too much on Saturday night. There are too many people here, ladies and gentlemen. Look, why did your parents have you, you lot? What were they thinking? What on earth were they thinking? Because I'm looking at you, I just cannot figure it out. They cannot have thought this through, can they? <coughs> just think, if your parents would have taken precautions, they'd probably have about half a million pound more, and a holiday home in the south of France, and now all they've got is you, the useless shopper. <laughs> And if this man here, if your parents would have taken precautions, I think it could have saved you the bother of doing all this, when you know full well that this is not doing anything at all. How does it change people? Tell me, I can't see any changes. Has anybody changed as a result of this? I'd be worried if anybody changed as a result of seeing that. I'd be a bit worried about you. You're obviously extremely vulnerable to any type of messages. Flee sexual immorality. Says over there. Alright. I remember that. What is sexual immorality anyway? Exactly. Sex outside of marriage. Alright then. I'll remember that. My wife would like you for that one, I'll tell you. She agrees with you. <laughs>